there, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. These are my interpretive dance hands. Uh, because, you know, today, obviously, you can tell from the vantage point, we are doing a huge declutter and going through all of my brushes. Now, this is the first declutter that I have ever done. So you'll have to bear with me if I do it wrong or if it looks a little weird. I'm honestly not sure 100% how to do these. Um, I think going forward as far as like palettes and whatnot, I'll probably do those in a different style or like a different format for shooting. But for this video, because obviously they're all together, I just cleaned them all. I thought this would be a good way for you guys to see um, not only what I'm using and what I'm keeping, but also me kind of talking to you along the way, certain brushes, certain profiles, and just telling you guys, you know, these are my favorite brands. This is something I gravitate toward. This is my favorite eye brush or, you know, whatever that sort of thing is. I just thought it would be a cool way for you guys to see what I prefer to use. And uh, also a way that allows me to go through, sort these out and declutter them because I have a lot of friends and people in my life that um, could use the brushes. So this will be a good way to do it. Now, something I do want to mention before we start getting into this too heavily, um, I have been on YouTube now for over three years and go back to my original sentence where I said, I haven't decluttered anything, you guys. I am a pack rat, honey. I am the packiest of the rattiest. And so I, I don't want to like get rid of anything. Um, so if it seems like there's a lot here, it's it's pretty simple. It's just because there is. So I'm going to do my best to go through, be realistic, uh, but at the same time, just letting you guys know there is a lot here um, just because I've collected a lot over the last, you know, five, six-ish years. Just in the interest of full transparency here, this is not every single brush I own. Um, it's probably, like, easily it's 95%, but I have a few brushes um, off to the side that I've been using while these ones were getting cleaned and dry, and then I also had a few new ones from Wet n Wild that just, you know, they were just new, so they weren't in here. But just so you guys know, this is the majority, but it's not every single brush. Like, not all of my Wayne Goss brushes are in here um, and that sort of thing. So, again, just something to keep in mind if you see something later that wasn't in here. That is why. So with all of that said, with no further ado, let's start going through some brushes. I figure I'll talk through some of it. Some parts I will speed up, and we'll just kind of get a feel as we go. So, let's get moving. Um, this right here, I love that this is the first brush I pick up. It's so teeny tiny. This is actually my eyebrow brush from the Morphe Jeffree Star collection. It is their JS, what is this? The JS7. And I actually really like this brush. I like the profile for the end of it here. The spoolie is really good. And uh, I will be keeping this brush because I like it. I've used it a ton. I was actually able to get a lot of miles out of this brush for it being more on the affordable side, which is good. So anything from this collection, this is the Beautylish 420 collection. And I really, really like it. I get a lot of use out of the brushes. Um, they are on the newer side, but just the quality overall from these is fantastic. So again, anything from this we will be keeping. I think there's maybe four brushes or something, four or five brushes in the set, but I really like them. So now we're going to start talking drugstore. This is a Wet n Wild brush, and it's one of their first lines that they came out with of them, so it doesn't have like a label on it. I want to say I bought this specific collection like maybe two or three years ago, and I absolutely love these brushes. They are so good. The quality is fantastic. Um, So for right now, I'm going to be keeping it, and maybe if I edit down later, we could talk, but for right now, I mean, this is still in fantastic condition. I've used it a ton, and I really love it. It's super duper soft. Very, very, very much so worth the money from the drugstore right here. These are so good. All right, so anybody that's been here for a hot minute knows that this collection right here is also another drugstore favorite. This is the Rose Gold Collection from BH Cosmetics, and in general, BH Cosmetics brushes are so nice. I have a ton of them, and I think that they are absolutely amazing. The quality is so good, and I just find that with this Rose Gold Collection in general, I really ended up loving a lot of the profiles that they offered, and just the overall um, like sizes and shapes that were in this box fit my face really well, whether it was my eye shape, how I like to do my makeup, my cream contour, that sort of thing. So all of these at this point, I'm going to be keeping. I really like this one. This is the number two. I like using this one for cream type products. You can see it's a little bit thinner, a little thicker, really, really nice brush. Um, this one right here is the number four from that set. I love using this for under the eyes or for dusting away like lighter areas. It's a really, really good, like bigger than detail brush, but more of like detail for the under eye type situation. I really like this. And then this is the, I want to say this one was like the six or the nine. I used it so much. It doesn't even have a label on it anymore, but this profile for my eye socket was just absolutely perfect. I loved it on the inner part of the eye because it was blunted, but not too blunted and still pretty fluffy. So overall, love all these brushes. I love this collection and I just, oh my God, I can't say enough good things. BH brushes for the most part, super nice quality. Really enjoy them. Okay. Now here's an example of a BH brush that I could probably part ways with because the quality of the brush isn't the problem 
problem. It's a really good brush. This is their number three from, I want to say, I'll actually, I don't know which line this is. Maybe it was just a baseline, but this right here is just a standard, you know, slanted blush brush. And while I do really like it, I'm into different um, styles and different fullnesses for my blush brushes. So this is definitely one that I, I really like. Again, good quality, but I could, I could let myself, you know, get rid of one. Okay. Whew, look at that, guys. We officially got rid of one brush. Go me. Whew. All right, Paige, let's get some moving going here. Let's like start picking up some brushes, move a little bit faster. Um, these are both two that are on top that are foundation brushes. This one is the Morphe JS1. And I have to be honest, I still really love this um, to apply my foundation. It's super seamless, very soft. I do feel like um, with some of my Morphe brushes from this collection, though, I am having issues with the ferrules becoming loose, like the, the uh, disjointment right here is just, it's becoming more and more apparent. So something to definitely be mindful of. But overall, the brush itself is still in really good shape. I have no reason to get rid of it. Still super nice quality and uh, it just, it applies foundation like a dream. Now to the flip side of that, this is the Morphe Y6 brush, which is a flat top kabuki. And I will be keeping this because I do like the profile. I don't think that they still have this gold line right here, but uh, I find with Morphe and you'll hear me talk about this very openly. I don't have a coupon code. None of this is sponsored, but for me, Morphe brushes can be pretty hit or miss. Um, but from experience, again, out of all the Morphe brushes that I have. Their flat top kabuki that I have right here, the Y6, is actually really nice. It's a super, super soft brush. It cleans up really well. And overall, I haven't had any issues with the quality. Now, if I had to choose one of these going forward, just, you know, to be completely transparent, I do prefer the JS1 just because it has a slightly more of a domed top to it versus the super, super flat top of the um, flat of the flat top kabuki. Imagine the name. So, you know, just personal preference. I will, like I said, be keeping this, but I do prefer something slightly rounded. And you'll hear me talk about that going forward with other profiles as well. But just something I want to, you know, give you all the information here. All right. So let's go ahead. While we're still talking about Morphe, I pulled a few brushes that I am going to go ahead and get rid of. These are, like I said, all from Morphe. These two, the white ones right here are from the Jaclyn Hill collection. And this one is the Morphe M. 433 brush. These are the JH34 and 32. And my main issue with Morphe brushes are the ones with the white tips right here. These just end up being so scratchy. And I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm, really, I'm doing this upside down and backwards. So I don't know if what I'm seeing is what you're completely seeing. But anything for me that has this um, white bristle on it, I just feel like they get super frayed out. I'm trying to bring it close to the camera here. Um, they end up getting so, so frayed for me and they're just not the type of brush that I like having in my collection because for me I find myself reaching around a brush like this that gets way more frayed versus you know reaching for a brush like this one right here this is the Morphe M452 and it doesn't have that obnoxious like super stick straight weird hay like brush bristles it has this really nice it's a super soft bristle it stays better and just overall, I find myself reaching for these brushes from Morphe more so than the white ones. So I don't know, pro tip for me to you, like I wouldn't recommend those ones, but this type of a brush, like I don't have any issues with. These are really good and I will be keeping a lot of these because I like the profile, I like the bristles and they're really good. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away I'm gonna pause right here on this brush. This is my Furless Cosmetics brush. This is their Pro 6F. And I just want to mention anything from this collection, anything from Furless, I will be keeping because you guys, this brand is absolutely amazing. If you are looking for, as the name would suggest, a vegan, cruelty-free, of, of furless brush, these are absolutely amazing. The quality is so, so nice. Also, while we're still here and I'm, you know, just sorting through talking to myself, this one is another one from BH that I will be keeping. This is just from that same collection the hot pink candles and this is their brush number two and I love love this brush for my cream contour I've actually had a lot of questions about this one because you guys have seen me use it so many times on camera it just has the perfect like little slight dome to it it has a little movement but not too much like it's somewhere between a foundation brush and something slightly looser like a like a dense dual fiber kind of feel and it's just a fantastic brush I love this it works perfect to get into the hollows of my cheeks 
Oh my God. And it makes it so fast too. Like this brush blends out so quickly. I've used it, I mean, on a day to day to day basis and it just never tires out. It's an amazing affordable brush. Okay. So what is this we see here other than this random like skid mark of foundation sitting on this brush? We're not going to talk about it. It was very late when I cleaned my brushes, guys. I was quite exhausted. Uh, so just don't talk about it. Don't come for me. It, it, it happens to the best of us, okay? But uh, I wanted to mention really quickly, all of these plus my Wayne Goss. So we have Wayne Goss, Scott Barnes, Kaleidos, and Refer. All of these brushes, amazing, amazing quality across the board. Super nice brushes. They're staying with me because I love them. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find them, standing right here. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you Oh my gosh, you guys, my It Cosmetics brushes, I absolutely love this. I have had this brush specifically for so freaking long. This is their soft touch blush brush. It is so amazing. It's so fluffy. This is, oh God, this is such a good brush. And I've had this for I'm not exaggerating, probably five or six years, and it still looks perfect. Like, yeah, the handle might be dinged up a little bit, but the brush itself still looks absolutely amazing. So definitely keeping that and definitely holding on to my Jelly Pop Stipple Brush, which you guys know I've been loving using this to apply highlight lately because it has just the slightest little layer of second little hairs up here. It works so beautifully. It applies, oh my God, it applies highlight like a dream. And it also works really well for blushes because obviously it was released with that line that they had the weird little jelly blushes that I absolutely hated but uh, the, the brush itself absolutely fantastic so so good I can see that, that you miss me oh. you stay till the morning light oh would you follow me oh would you let it be if I leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy oh. all right so we're gonna take a little break truth be told my pile for getting rid of which is over there um it's definitely not growing that quickly but again it takes time guys this is my first ever declutter be easy on me uh but i wanted to take another second really quickly pause and talk about this this is the real techniques 424 brush you guys see me use this a lot there's actually three brushes in this collection these are the ones that you can adjust if you want them to be super dense if you want them to be medium or if you want them to be super nice and fluffy and i love this collection i have three brushes like i said and i will be keeping all of them but just so you guys know, I do talk about these a lot. I think this brush is really versatile, really good quality, and actually quite an ingenious thing if you think about it. Like, it, it makes it so this brush is very multi-purpose, and I just, I really like it. It's a great brush. And then from there, the next brush I want to mention, this is actually kind of a painful one for me to get rid of. This is from BoxyCharm of all things. And when they sent these over, um, I want to say it was like maybe three or four boxes ago, I actually did really like this collection. But what I keep noticing with these, and I don't know if it was just my brushes, but they keep keep shedding and it bums me out because the brush itself like the profile there's this one and then like a bigger one it's like this big and it's um a foundation version the brushes themselves though are really really good but I don't know if it's just mine but they keep shedding so I'm kind of contemplating I'll probably put this in my hold pile which is on this side of the camera but it just bums me out and I just want to know if mine are the only ones that shed because like it's just obnoxious it's driving me crazy because the like the packness of them they're actually a good brush <laughs> We 
it's time to take another brief pause. I'm officially this far into the box, so I've made a little headway, definitely nowhere near as far as I need to be, but I wanted to pause super quick because these are actually a newer brush that I just picked up. These are from NYX, and this was their 108 brush, which I believe this was the one with the little bumbles on it, and I think this one was for primer or something, and I just want to throw out there, I don't think that you need these brushes like in any way, shape, or form. I've used them quite a few times, and I haven't seen like any you know crazy awesome thing about them but I wanted to mention I am going to be keeping this just because you know I did buy it obviously like I said most of this I bought myself and I, I want to still get to use it a little bit more and just continue to test it out and and get a little bit more use out of the brush itself so I will be keeping them but I just didn't want to set the wrong like precedent that just because I'm keeping it means means that you need it because I definitely don't think that that's the case but I just I, I want to get some more use out of it because you know I, I've used it a fair amount but it's still it still has a lot of a lot of miles left on it so i'm going to keep it but just something i wanted to throw out there So you guys know, based on, I mean, even just what you've seen right here, I treat them all the same. I don't care if they're high-end or drugstore. And this one bums me out a little. This is the e.l.f. Foundation Blurring Brush. And this one was actually pretty re highly recommended from a lot of people on YouTube. They really liked it, the dome shape, all of that. I just want to say I am, you know, decluttering this brush, but that isn't a reflection on the brush itself because, again, it's a really good quality. It's super soft. It has a nice density, and it's very inexpensive. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because for some reason for me, this brush causes streaks more than a lot of my other foundation brushes. And if I'm, you know, if I'm being fair and I'm just looking at it objectively, I think that it's right to declutter the one that does cause me, you know, the most issue, the most working. Um, as far as, you know, after I've already applied my foundation, I have to go over and smooth it again. So I am decluttering it. But just so you guys know, it actually is a pretty good brush. Again, very nice, soft, smooth, all of that. But for me, for some reason, it just causes issues. And I just ain't got time for that in my life. All right, this one right here, one of my favorite foundation brushes. This is the Fenty. 115. I have a dent in it right here because I don't even know how I did that. But uh, this brush right here is fantastic. It is uh, easily probably like my top. No, no, this is probably my top foundation brush right here. Like price and all of that aside, I just love this brush. It's so good. The application is amazing. It has a nice density to it, slightly rounded at the top. Just a great, great overall brush. So so highly recommend this. It's not even funny. This for me is one of those brushes that made me remember how beautiful foundation can look with a brush because I struggle with that a lot. And this is just so good. I highly recommend, highly recommend it. It is so, so good. talk about this situation because these brushes for me, um, truth be told, they kind of pissed me off. So these were from Kat Von D back, I want to say maybe two or three-ish years ago. Like I had just started my channel. I was maybe six months to a year in, something like that. And she came out with her 20 or 10 year, whatever it was, like anniversary collection. And there was a brush set of like five or six brushes. And of course I picked it up to review it. And I just want you guys to know these brushes for me, there's literally nothing special about them, whether it's the profile or or like anything, there's just not there's there's nothing to write home about. And the brush collection itself was super, super expensive. And again, even though it's not technically Kat Von D, you know, now it's KVD, vegan, whatever, whatever. Um, I just want to mention if you guys see these somewhere, like you're out and about, Marshalls, whatever, I still I don't I really don't think that they're worth spending anything over what you would pay, like BH brushes or you know, that sort of thing. Like there's just nothing special about these that would warrant picking them up, in my opinion. Again, just saying, throwing you guys out there, you know my thoughts. Uh, that being said, I will be decluttering, especially this one. And I debated getting rid of this big fluffy one because, you know, it's it's definitely the nicest of the group. But I think I have so many other brushes that I would rather tell you guys about and encourage you to get. And when I have something like this in my collection, it's kind of a pain because you can't get it anymore. So even if you do really want it, I, I can't, I can't, I can't facilitate that. So for me, I'm going to declutter these. But just so you know, I, I don't really think you need them either way. Um, I just wanted to point that out there in case you see them and you're like, oh, wow. Like I just, to me, there's nothing special about these. I would rather have a lot of other brushes over those any day of the week.
Great formula, love them. Shouldn't be in my brushes, so she's she's definitely sticking around. All of the snow in this winter land used to look so pretty. Now making me moody. In the deep woods, alone with my feels, spent too much time thinking. In the end, you. that I just can't get rid of. This is a brush from Tarte. It was their dual ended brush and I bought this at the same time I bought their Skin Twinkle Palette, I think. I've talked about it before and I just love this brush so much, you guys. It makes me so happy. It's so cute and I mean for as much as I've used it truthfully, like on a practical scale, it actually has lasted really, really well and it just makes me so happy. It's like dense on this side and it has more of a fluff over here. I use this for blush or for highlight, this fluffy end right here and it's so, so cute. I just love it. It makes me happy. It's one of those things that I don't really need, but I keep it because I love it. It's like memorabilia. actually in my maybe pile. These are the um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes and I'm really struggling with these because overall um, I don't think that they are the best quality brushes and I keep going back to like this point of practicality where I think that in when like push comes to shove if I need a brush and I'm reaching for it and like all my other brushes are dirty these are good ones to have on hand like they, the profiles of them are really nice but where I'm struggling with these versus the other brushes that I've already decided to keep is the quality like these have that thing I was talking about with Morphe, these white ones right here, how they do kind of fray out and get very hay-like. And I just, I don't know, man, like I don't love them. But at the same time, like I said, I feel like getting rid of them is also a little hasty, but I've also had them for a few years. So I've already gotten like the use out of them. You know what? I'm actually not going to be indecisive. I'm going to pass these along because ultimately what I have to think about is you guys. And is this a brush that I would recommend that you pick up over like a BH brush or even over like another, you know, Morphe brush that has those other bristles I was talking to you about. Like, no, I think ultimately I would still recommend those to you over these. So I'm, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna declutter these. Oh my God. That's probably one of the hardest declutters that I have done yet. Um, along those same lines, we have a Morphe brush here. This is just a really good blush brush. Overall, I really love these from Morphe. Um, but this is not my favorite blush brush. My favorite one is actually this one. This is the Morphe E4. This one's dirty because I just used it this morning. But um, this brush from them is like my one of my absolute favorite blush brushes in the world. If you're looking for like that standard slanted uh, blush brush, these are really, really nice. 
Um, and this profile, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fluffier. I do like it for just like that good, like pouncy cheek um, or for cream products. But ultimately, I have a lot of other options that I think I just reach for more. Now, this one, guys, I'm just going to declutter it. But I want you to know I really struggled on this because as a brush, I don't use it. I think this was like such a waste of money. I really wish that Kim wouldn't have done these as her like initial brush rollout because I really feel like she can do a lot better than this, um, both from the dual ended perspective and also just from like the overall quality. Like to me, this just, this doesn't cut it. Like I would expect this from the drugstore, not from like KKW beauty, you know, like launching a line type situation. These last few I am decluttering, I think as well. These two right here are actually from It Cosmetics. And again, I love their brushes. I normally would keep them all, but these two profiles right here are just not ones that I reach for. They're more like thinner and fluffy. And I like to have um, like a blunted round fluffy, not like a, a thin profile. I know it's hard to explain, but just these profiles aren't my favorite. And then for that same reason, I'm um, getting rid of the Morphe G13. It just has a very similar profile. So we're decluttering those. And then last but not least, we have this collection. Now this was actually a holiday collection from Tarte. I am mainly wanting to declutter these for one reason. Like the brushes themselves are fine. I don't have any issues with them, but um, you guys can't really get them and they don't have a label on them for me to tell you what they are. Like it isn't like, oh, they offer this brush, but in the not holiday version, you know what I mean? Like if I use this and I said, oh, I'm gonna use this really awesome eye brush, which I do really like, uh, but the problem is I can't tell you what it is. And so I like it, you wanna buy it, but you can't buy it because you can't buy these and I can't even tell you like, you know, what they are because they don't exist. So I am going to declutter these. But again, this was actually a really good kit that I did enjoy. I've gotten a lot of years out of it and it's really, really nice, but I have to declutter it. I have to do what's right. I have to do what's right. All right. So guys, final flyover. These are the brushes that I am keeping. I know it looks like a lot, but these ones are actually thinner um, than the other side. So these are the ones that we are keeping. And then over here, this is the pile that we are decluttering. You can see that these ones are just, I mean, they're stacked a little bit higher. And you know what? It's its really, is it as much as it should be? No, I'm well aware. But guys, a little bit at a time, you got to ease me into it. I'm having a struggle bus with this whole decluttering thing. So these are the ones that ultimately I decided to get rid of. Again, just to give you like a nice little shot here. One thing that I do want to add to this before I leave, um, the reason that I'm decluttering some of these, and I think that this kind of, you know, really does need to be mentioned because a lot of of these I really really enjoy for example this one right here is a crown brush I got this in a boxy charm it's a really good fluffy brush I don't have any issues with it um I just don't reach for it as much because I have other brushes that I just like more that do that they have a similar feel a similar action um mainly my newest one from Scott Barnes it's kind of like the half curve shape I really enjoy that one and so I don't want to keep brushes around that I like that are good but that I don't really use um similar type situation here this is a little Milani brush it's just a fluffy blender and it's actually a really really good brush but it doesn't have a number on it it's very short so it's uncomfortable for me to hold and even though I like the profile and it's a good quality I don't need to hold on to it if ultimately it's not something that I reach for I'm just going through and flattening this out while I talk to you guys so you can kind of see what I decided to declutter um and I think it'll kind of explain itself especially if you've been watching me for a while because ultimately you know the main reason that I wanted to do this it wasn't because again like these brushes are bad or anything Thing. It's just because I do my makeup so differently now and I just I have such a different you know style and I prefer different textures and different whatever's that I just I feel like I'm in a place where I need to go through and kind of out with the old page you know out with the old way that I used to do things and whatnot and in with you know the new stuff the new the new techniques that I've learned and and, and the new everything about it like I want to really embrace what I've learned and how far I've come in makeup and I think that this pile over here really does exemplify that in the way that I like to do things now versus this pile over here, which again, like I said 15 times, I just want to make this very clear. If you have these brushes and you like them and you don't want to get rid of them or whatever, I don't think that you need to. Like if I wasn't on YouTube, I definitely wouldn't be getting rid of like this whole collection like I talked about. But ultimately for me, it comes down to multiple things, you know, changing the way that I do my makeup, learning more, evolving as a makeup person on the internet, but also making sure that when I recommend things and brushes and makeup to you guys, that I'm doing it the right way and that I, I'm encouraged you in the way that I, what I really like and what I reach for. And I just feel like having some of these around, it, it just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't work. But all right, you guys, that is the end of the video. I'm going to get going because I've talked way too much. I hope that you guys like this. I've never done a declutter. So you can let me know down below if you like these, if you want to see more declutters, all of that. Um, and just let me know your overall thoughts and opinions. Uh, really quickly, ha, ta, 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 don't go anywhere. Uh,
before you leave, if you haven't checked me out yet, Instagram and on Twitter, they will both be linked down below in the description. And if you uh, haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that as well before you leave. I put up new videos normally, for the most part, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up around 7-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. If you're into declutters, you should definitely subscribe because I spent a lot of time this past week going through, cleaning up, and making my new entire makeup setup really work for me. So if you're into organizing and, you know, you really want to see my collection at some point, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe. And um, guys, that's it. I will talk to you later. I hope you guys all have an amazing, amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. How do you say goodbye on here? <laughs> bye. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs>